ਇਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਨਿਰਭਉ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੂਰਤ ਜੂਨੀ ਸੈ ਭੰਗ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਪ ਆਦ ਸਚ ਜੁਗਾਦ ਸਚ ਹੈ ਭੀ ਸਚ ਨਾਨਕ ਹੋਸੀ ਭੀ ਸਚ ਕਹਾ ਬੁੱਧ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਤੁਛ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਬਾਰਣ ਸਕੈ ਮਹਿਮਾ ਜੋ ਤਿਹਾਰੀ ਹਮ ਨਾ ਸਖਤ ਕਰ ਸਿਫਤ ਤੁਮਾਰੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਹੋ ਤੁਮ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਧਾਰੀ ਹਮ ਨਾ ਸਖਤ ਕਰ ਸਿਫਤ ਤੁਮਾਰੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਹੋ ਤੁਮ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਧਾਰੀ ਦੋਹਰਾ ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਤਲਵੰਦੀ ਖੜੇ ਧਿਆਨ ਸੁਕੇਤ ਲਗਾਏ ਆਏ ਦਖਨੋ ਇਕ ਸਿਖ ਕਹੀ ਭਇਉ ਨ ਰੰਗ ਦੋਜਕ ਰਾਹੇ ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਖੜੇ ਧਿਆਨ ਸੁਕੇਤ ਲਗਾਏ ਆਏ ਦਖਨੋ ਇਕ ਸਿਖ ਕਹੀ ਭਇਉ ਨ ਰੰਗ ਦੋਜਕ ਗਾਹੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਤਨ 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 ਜਨ ਆਇਆ ਜਿਸ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਸਭ ਜਗਤ ਤਰਾਇਆ blessed are those beings who come into this earth by whose grace we are liberated in this way sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj the blessed 10th guru was the sat guru who continues to give their children those who walk the way of the khalsa a multitude of blessings the katha of pant prakash in today's prasang picks up from the history of where guru gobind singh ji has given the singh santhya sabbo ki talwandi from leaving the kela of anandpur sahib to writing the zafar nama to giving the gursik such as baba deep singh and pai mani singh santhya sabbo ki talwandi guru gobind singh ji is now reaching the end of the time of sabbo ki talwandi and in the two short prasangs for today pai ratan singh ji tells us of maharaj's time there han ji pehle padi to ji dohra ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਖੜੇ ਧਿਆਨ ਸੁਕੇਤ ਲਗਾਏ ਭਾਈ ਰਤਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਜ ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਚ ਖੜੇ ਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਪੌਂਡਰਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਫਾਰ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਆਏ ਦਖਨੋ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਹੀ ਭਇਉ ਨ ਰੰਗ ਦੋਜਕ ਰਾਹੇ ਦੂਰ ਦੂਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫਾਰ ਫਾਰ ਅਵੇ ਦੇ ਸੀ ਆ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਅਪਰੋਚਿੰਗ ਐਸ ਦਿਸ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਸ ਇਨ ਅਪਰੋਚਸ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਸਾਊਥ he brings the news that aranga aurangzeb has been dispatched to halwi aur aur uh, aurangzeb di maut aa gayi odi kaal aa gayi chaupai sun satguru yo bachan uchare is tarah satguru sache padshah ji sun karke hearing these guru gobind singh ji spoke the following words os ladai sut de mare di ode putta nu bhav mohammad azam shah te bahadur shah nu the two sons of uh, aurangzeb guru gobind singh ji as the raja and raj pan and pan as the king of kings and the light of light the moon the sun everything on this earth they decide that the mogul empire which has committed so much sin and atrocity that the policy of the guru should be to endorse a power struggle between the two sons of aurangzeb and ultimately maharaj supported bahadur shah as the more liberal the more lenient and the one who had perhaps better relations with the house of the guru so maharaj me hon jehdi a aurangzeb diyan putta diyan ladaiyan in the battle of the sons between aurangzeb guru gobind singh ji decides that they will interfere within this ab dakhan ki kariye chadhai te maharaj singha nu hukm dinde ne ke hon dakhan wal chaliye guru gobind singh ji tells the singhs gather your horses gather your men tell the gursikhs to bring down their tents and the dal should now get ready to leave for sri hazur sahib ਇਮ ਸਿੰਘਨ ਗੁਰ ਉਚਾਰ ਸੁਨਾਈ ਤੇ ਉੱਚੇ ਉੱਚੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਮੰਗਸਟ ਆਲ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਖਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਟੈਲਸ ਦਮ ਦਾ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਨਾਓ ਗੈਟ ਰੈਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਮੰਨ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਪੀਕਸ ਦ ਫੋਲੋਇੰਗ ਵਰਡਸ ਦੋਹਰਾ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਆਖਿਓ ਢੱਲਾ ਸਿੰਘਾ ਚਲ ਤੂੰ ਹਮਾਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਸਪਾਈ ਢੱਲਾ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਰੂਲਰ ਆਫ ਬਠਿੰਡਾ ਆਫ ਸਬੂ ਕੀ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਵੇਅਰ ਹੀ ਹੈਡ ਗਿਵਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਐਟ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੇਅਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹਿਡ ਕਮ after the battle of muktasar so pai dalla had served maharaj very faithfully and in response to this maharaj now tells pai dalla the you come with me there is great instability in the delhi empire and we will establish you as the ruler of delhi so dekho there is always a great lesson in history and the lesson from these prasang is the blessing if we say satbaj into maharaj if we say yes to whatever maharaj tells us to do whatever they ask us to do it 
whichever way they ask us to do it. And if we do that, then we get our Guru's blessings. But when we hesitate, then we don't get our Guru's blessings. So here, by uh, the Laji is being offered the Raj of Dili and is being asked for certain things. But this could be any of us in this situation, whether it's Maharaj saying, keep your case, whether it's Maharaj saying, stop drinking, whether it's Maharaj saying, give up bad Sangat or bad deeds and come on to the Guru's way. So when we give up these things and we follow the Guru's message, the Guru's blessing, then we obtain everything. And here, Pai Dallaji, who has faithfully served the Guru, is being offered the Raj of Dili, is being offered the throne of Dili for his service. Tumko Dili pat karo. Maharaj says we will lay ruin to Delhi because the the two brothers are now fighting amongst themselves. There is the, there is no rightful heir or to the throne of Delhi. There is a perfect time for now for us as the Gursikhs to establish a Raj. And Maharaj first says to Pai Dalla that we will make you the king on our way south heading towards Dakkan, head, passing uh, Sri Hujur Sahib Ji which is in Nandir in the state of Maharashtra, in the following history, Maharaj takes the Gursikhs to this Jaga, reviews it to them as their Pratan Tapasthan, as the site where they had previously meditated upon and done Simran in their uh, previous rule of Dushdaman. But on the way they are passing through Delhi, Maharaj wants to establish Pai Dalla as the ruler of Hindustan. And while Maharaj was blessing Pai Dalla, Pai Dalla's brother was standing next to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, hearing these words that Maharaj was prophesizing. Pai Dalla nu kanda de forget what Guru Sahib Ji is saying to you. So Pame o irkha de vich, he could have been jealous, he could have been angry, he could have been worrying. There's multiple ways, but we sometimes... We know what the message of the Guru is and for whatever reason we have other people who whisper into our ear, don't follow the message of the Guru. This will happen, that will happen, this will happen and it puts our mind in a very deluded state and Pai Dalla's brother puts him into a deluded state. He says, listen, don't get caught up on what Guru Sahib Ji is trying to say to you. He says to Pai Dalla, do you know what kind of Raj Guru will give you? When Guru is saying to you, they're going to make you a king, they're going to make you an emperor, they're going to make you someone elevated beyond your station of Batinda as a ruler of this small town all the way up to the, the emperor of Delhi. He said, do you know what kind of Badshah, do you know what kind of Raj Guru Gobind Singh Ji will give you if you follow him? In the way that he's had his own sons killed, Shaheed, following this path, the Shahidi of the Sahib Zadeh, Baba Jeet Singh Ji, Baba Jujar Singh Ji, Baba Joravar Singh Ji, Baba Fateh Singh Ji, that we've covered already in previous Prasang and previous episodes. Pai Dalla Ji's brother is saying to him, Do you remember what happened to the sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji? And do you really want that same fate? Because that's the fate that Guru Sahib Ji has in store for you. Yehi gal gur prohat suni. And prohat is the rasoi, the chef. So there was a Brahman chef in the in the house of Guru Sahib Ji. Because Brahmans had been employed in the house of the Guru in multiple roles. We've covered this in previous prasang as well. The Guru's house is a very diverse institution. And the Guru's Brahman cook hears this being said. And he takes he, ta- he takes an issue to what's being said here. And they go to Maharaj and they tell Maharaj of what's happened, what they've overheard by Dalla's brother saying to them. And he, he's a Brahman, so he in his mind is already thinking that these Jats are a bit simple, these Jats are no good, why is Maharaj favouring these poor peasants and ignoring our higher caste? So he now takes what he's heard as a point to reinforce this point that he's trying to say to Maharaj, that why are you wasting your, you're the king of kings and you're here, wasting your time with mere peasants, mere farmers. And they say to Maharaj, that why are you always obsessing about helping the poor people, helping the peasant people? These people have no gratitude. These people have no appreciation for all that you do for them. And he says, these jungly jata, okay, that area of Malwa, even up until recently, now it's been modernized and you have all of the, the, the mainstream brands, shops and outlets there. But even around 10, 5, 10 years ago, for those of the Malwa area, they considered that area as particularly backward. And at that time, Pai Ratan Singh Ji describes them as jungly, people that essentially are wild, wildlings in a way. This is a good English translation. And 
the uh, Brahman is saying to Guru Gobind Singh Ji that every single day they want you to perform a miracle. They want to see something. They want you to be happy, and they want to fall at your feet as as a result of this. And then behind your back they do your nindya. Behind your back they curse you. Behind your back they say the guru is someone who's bad. The guru is someone who's sitting here. The guru is someone who's staying here. The guru said this is going to happen or that's going to happen, but this hasn't happened yet. So they would follow Guru Sahib Ji's feet whenever Guru Sahib Ji would bless them, give them something, show them something. As we heard previously, Prasang getting rid of the pood, getting rid of the dent. But when it came to then like having that adoration for the Guru, as the Guru is actually the Sat Guru, the Guru is the one who's here to liberate you from your material existence towards your higher self and ultimately becoming one with your Creator. These people had a lesser grasp of the significance of Guru Gobind Singh Ji's presence in their time. So it's like in Punjabi we say sometimes, the, the, the water well, those who live closest to the water well, sometimes are left thirsty. And this is what's happening here. They, they are almost taking for granted Guru Gobind Singh Ji's presence in the way that many of us take for granted Guru Granth Sahib Ji's presence. We don't go to the Godal regularly. We don't go to do Chaur Sahib regularly. We don't go to do Matha take regularly. And in doing so, we forget that the Guru is the king of kings. We're like a worm that's been given a really high blessing to have the Guru's darshan, to do the Guru seva and obtain liberation in his life. But we instead immerse ourselves in maya, in kaljug. We immerse ourselves in kaam, grod, lob, mohankar, the five vices. We immerse ourselves in chut, in falsehood, nindya, slandering others, irka, hatred, and ultimately kalesh, drama. When we do naam, when we join with Maharaj, Maharaj takes us away from this, but he needs the buddhi. And these people... Even though they were blessed with Maharaj and their presence, even though they were blessed with Maharaj, the, their buddhi and ultimately their karm, their destiny did not allow them to obtain the ultimate reward from Guruji's presence. Kehyo gur ham jat chheda khaye And Maharaj says that what's happened now? They're asking the Soi, what is it that's got you so upset? And Maharaj says that I don't need these people. I'm here because they're poor people, they're peasant people, they're simple people who've offered me they are accommodation within their town. This is the reason I'm here to bless them. I have nothing to, to take or to gain from these people. And he says, Maharaj, now our relationship with these people should end because they've said the unsayable, they've said the most horrendous things, which is about the, you having your sons killed. They spoke such foul words that should not have come out of their mouth. Satgur kahi pot is mar gaye Guru Sahib Ji says bhi eda pot mar gaya hooga Maharaj says that my sons haven't died Maybe their son has died Ham se kaput so thand pae Maharaj points to the Gursikhs in their presence The Gursikhs standing in their bani In their talwara, in their barshe The likes of Baba Deep Singh Ji Pai Mani Singh Ji Baba Banod Singh Ji Baba Kaan Singh Ji Baba Gurbak Singh Ji Pai Daya Singh Ji Pai Taram Singh Ji Pai Maan Singh Ji all of these Gursikhs in the presence of Maharaj, Maharaj turns to them, My sons are standing here right in front of me. And um, Pai Ratan Singh Ji says that as these words were spoken from the mouth of Guru Sahib Ji, Pai Dalla's son dies. So Guru Sahib Ji is the one who, who can make a dead person into a living person. And we should always seek Guru's blessings knowing that. But we should always know that the opposite is possible as well. That there is like, a, imagine this, so say you have a river. If you go to the river, you do a chubi, you take, you, rather you, you, in your hands, you get some water and you drink that water. That's one way where you've been saturated. If you dive in and you throw yourself into that, you, you run a risk of drowning or being carried away. Now that's not the water's fault, that's your fault. In this way, the Guru is like an ocean. The Guru is like all-powerful. The Guru is the manifestation of the creator, the sustainer and the destroyer on this earth. And how we conduct ourselves according to the Guru, that's the fall that we're going to get. That's the reward that we're going to get. If we behave accordingly or we behave mischievously, we'll either get good or we'll get bad. This is innate. This is the nature of Guru Sahib Ji. This is the nature of God. And Pai Dalla's son dies as Guru Sahib Ji utters these, these sayings from their, their mouth. And Maharaj says to the sayings that now we should speed up our preparations to leave here. 
ਨੋ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਤਾ ਨੋ ਦਿਨਾ ਤਲਵੰਡੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਮੁਕਾਮ ਭਾਈ ਰਤਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਜ਼ ਫਰ 9 ਡੇਜ਼ ਸੈ ਫਰ 9 ਮੰਥਸ ਇਨ 9 ਡੇਜ਼ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸਟੇਡ ਐਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਪਾ ਡੇਰਾ ਤੋਰਾ ਰੱਖ ਦਖਣ ਛੱਡ ਤੁਰਕਨ ਬੱਡ ਥਾਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨਾ ਗੈਟਸ ਦ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਪੰਥ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਦੇ ਗੇ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਵਾਰੀਅਰਸ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਦੇ ਗੇ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਇਨ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਦ ਨਗਾਰਾ ਵੇਵਿੰਗ ਦ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਨ ਦ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਨਾ ਸੈ ਆਫ ਔਨ ਦ ਲੌਂਗ ਮਾਰਚ ਟੁਵਰਡਸ ਦਖਣ ਟੁਵਰਡਸ ਦ ਸਾਊਥ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ we the modern day state of maharashtra is where the holy takht of the gur sikhs sri hazur sahib is chopai dalla gur te bemukh payo so pai ratan singh ji says dalla bemukh ho gaya now look back if we think of previous prasang if we think of previous prasang where guru gobind singh ji tells us that pai dalla ji obtains the blessings of the guru pai dalla ji gets the amrit of the guru pai dalla ji is people in their town and their village gets the blessings of the guru but this is why we should always live in fear of the guru because the guru could ask something of us we at that time our mood our karm our attitude are something else we've got going on if we say something wrong we do something wrong then it's like snakes and ladders sometimes you could be at the top level of it 91 92 93 thinking i'm getting close to 100 here you take one wrong step and you're all the way down back into the underworld you're all the way back down into the darkness you're all the way back down into the bottom because you've you've hit a snake and you've come all the way down this can happen to us at any time and we have to always do our dash to mara bhi mara ja pa khin khin pulan ha rya that in every second and every breath we make so many mistakes please forgive us please don't hold our demerits against us please don't hold us to account for these we can never be worthy of the status that you gave us but please you can be merc- as merciful as we know you to be and still be graceful towards us so guru sahib ji ko dal ke raida because we don't know at one time we could be by dalla who guru gobind singh ji is staying with guru gobind singh ji's forges with the gurbani of guru granth sahib ji is being uttered there who from guru gobind singh ji's own words is given the amrit of guru gobind singh ji and the next minute he doesn't follow a bachan of guru sahib ji and now he becomes bemuk and then on side we read bemuk means the one who turns the way from the guru and when you do that you don't get mukti yes guru sahib ji can still bless you but guru sahib ji is the padarth of mukti they are the treasure of mukti themselves and turning away from that that says turning away from liberation towards the world and this is what pai dalla does so this is something that will come later as well as the next couple of prasang hum dibanda singh bahadur and other gur sikhs we sometimes think that when someone really religious or someone really holy does something bad and we think but that person was this but like, surely that person couldn't have done that ek chhena de vich ek khena de vich in a very very small moment of time lots can happen in just one decision in just one wrong word coming out of your mouth so idna gur sikh ko dar ke rehna chahida and knowing that at any point we can make a grave mistake they can take us far far from away from a guru and this is what pai dalla ji does this time do e tin teran turt mod leyo pai ratan singh ji says that only do tin pada so the maryada even today that you have in a dal panth is when the dal leaves one place it, they travel a significant part of the day and they sometimes rest there for two or three days unless they've got a long journey to do sometimes they will rest next day on the go they will rest next day on the go and this maryada comes from guru gobind singh ji's time the nahang singh dals have been traveling in this way from the times of guru gobind singh ji so pai ratan singh ji says is do tan pada la ke bhav meaning that at two or three camps at two or three sites pai dalla set up camp from the guru and then after that point he left aur jangli ke ch sang ture and it is other people other junglies no if these people were if these people were carrying out their service respectfully with dignity honoring the teachings and the message of the guru we would be referring to these people as exalted gursiks we would be referring to these people as the exalted gurmukhs in the presence of guru gobind singh ji but when they themselves renounce that relationship with guru sahib ji they don't carry that same respect and dignity now they're being referred to as junglies they're not being called gursiks they're called the wildlings the savages the barbarians the uneducated ones and it's not for us to now look down on those people 
is to understand that from a Gursikhi perspective, from a Guru's perspective, that we respect those people, those we we respect the service those people did. Maybe those people made mistakes, but maybe we could never do the good things they did as well. So we 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 can still have that respect and adoration for them, for the blessings that they did get. Yes, they might have had some, they might have had some unfortunate incidents where they turned away from the Guru or they didn't get the Guru's blessings. But there's also a whole lot of blessings that they did get that we still see today, where the family of Baidullah, Sabuki Talwandi and Dhamdama Sahib have some of the possessions of the Guru. People can go there and have darshan of these. People can go there and get blessed by these. So you get both sometimes. You get the blessing. And if you do bad, then you get the curse as well. This is just the innate nature. And Pai Dalla Ji has said in the Stig by Baba Santa Singh Ji, that Pai Dalla was given a khanda to stand guard of Guru Gobind Singh Ji at night. And Baba Santa Singh Ji says that Pai Dalla Ji left that khanda by Maharaj and then left with some of his people in the middle of the night. So this is the account given in the Stig of Baba Santa Singh Ji. And Bhai Ratan Singh Ji says that all of those who were without honor, Bhai means without, Maan means honor. So when we call someone Bhai Maan, it's like uh, saying to someone, you dishonorable person. And in this way, Bhai Ratan Singh Ji says is that those people who lacked honor left the Guru in the middle of the night. And from the village of Kotha Guru, there were Sodis. There was someone who came from, the, because remember the Sodi dynasty from Guru Ram Das Ji, was that family which all of the subsequent gurus came from. It was a vast dynasty. One of the chieftains of this dynasty, who was also a ruler of local villages around Kotha Guru, he learns that his son has travel, is traveling with Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And hearing this, he becomes a bit troubled that Guru Gobind Singh Ji is going to Hajur Sah. Guru Gobind Singh Ji rather is Hujur Sah hasn't become pargat yet. It's not become revealed yet to the Gursikhs. He's hearing that Guru Gobind Singh Ji is traveling to the Dakkan, to the southern regions of Hindustan. He's talking about doing Raj of Dili. He's talking about getting involved in this battle for the throne. And he's got my son with him. The Sodhi becomes somewhat troubled by this. And he, so he sends his advisors, he sends his chiefs, he sends we go quickly. Find where Guru Gobind Singh Ji is, find where my son is and bring them back to me. San Palang os and he said that in the middle of the night where they found the son of the Sodhi, that they, they took his bed, they carried his bed, his palang, and with that carried him away in the middle of the night. Jab Satgur Sodhi bulayo. When, when in the morning Maharaj says that the Sodhi clan, the real the families of the warriors, because each of these clans had a group of armed men. So you've got Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Maharaj Ji is the, the, the chief of the Khalsa Panth. Maharaj has their own Singhs like Baba Deep Singh Ji and the Gursikhs that we've mentioned before, Baba Binod Singh Ji, the, the two of the Panj Pyare, Bhai Daya Singh, Bhai Taram Singh Ji. Maharaj has their own warriors with them. That's the Khalsa. Then you have those Gursikhs who some had taken Amrit, like Bhai Dallah had taken Amrit. And then you had others who hadn't necessarily taken Amrit but had been joined with the house of the Guru for a long time. And each of these people commanded men at arms. So those men at arms might not have been Singhs, those men at arms might not have been Khalsa, those men at arms might not even have been Sekha. But the bringing of them together in Guru Sahib Ji's service, many of these smaller rulers, chiefs, heads of villages, etc. fought alongside Guru Gobind Singh Ji in their battles and gave Shahidi. And this is why each of these prominent families are coming with Guru Sahib Ji, because they are bringing their men at arms in service of the Guru's house as well. And they tell Maharaj now the Gursikhs, the Singhs, because remember the Singhs are those who only live to serve Guru Gobind Singh Ji. The Singhs are those who only live to die for Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So they are laughing at Guru Gobind Singh Ji. That, you know what, one by one, everyone's starting to desert. They're kind of leaving. It's like they're getting fearful of the journey ahead now. And in this way, Pai Ratan Singh Ji says that many people actually start to desert Guru Gobind Singh Ji, running away from Guru Gobind Singh Ji, uh, heading back from the camp and not going on. And Pai Ratan Singh Ji says that all these jungly people, all these people who did not appreciate what Guru Sahib Ji had done for them, had given them, they all now start leaving the camp of Guru Sahib. Rahe Majuda Guru Sangh Karachar. Bhai Ratan Singh Ji says there were four families who remained in the service of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. 
Mohan Pagatu Bahalo Rupe Var. So Mohan here is possibly the from the tre, uh, the Palla Kul, the Anjbans of Guru Amar Das Ji, the third Guru, who Guru Arjan Dev Ji went to to get the Govindwal Pothiya Sahib. And then you have Pai Pagatu, who was a Gursikh in the service of Guru, the earlier Guru Sahib Ji's. Pai Bello, whose uh, history is quite prominent, Pai Bello, Sabato Bello, that he is like foremost amongst the Gursikhs for the service he followed. And then Pai Rupa, who was a Gursikh from the time of Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji. So these kind of prominent families that were in each of their towns, in each of their regions, uh, at least three of them were from the Bhatinda area anyway, that these families traveled with the house of the Guru. So these are the four like Khandans, these are the four major families in Sikhi because you have the Bedis from Guru Nanak Dev Ji, you have the Trehan from Guru Angad Dev Ji and we know the Trehan Kul, that was Baba Banod Singh Ji and Baba Khan Singh Ji who were with Guru Gobind Singh Ji at Sabha Kitlondi, travelled with Guru Gobind Singh Ji to Hajur Sahib and then travelled back with Banda Singh Bahadur as the Mukhi of the Khalsa Panth. So the Trehan Kul is there. But the, the, the Palla Kul is possibly by Mona Ji's here. And then the other families that Guru Sahib Ji had told, you're going to be in charge of certain areas. Four of those families travel with the Guru. Gaye Sat Guru Sang Bahodur. Pai Ratan Singh Ji says they traveled very far with Guru Gobind Singh Ji. They did not desert, they did not turn their backs. So, hate khushi la mukho hazur. And in doing so, they got the blessings of Guru Sahib Ji. So sometimes like Guru Sahib Ji takes us on a journey, our life takes us on a journey, we go through some hardship and we don't need to turn away from that. It's inevitable that every hardship comes to an end because that's the nature of life. You have hardship, you have peace, you have suffering, you have ease, you have good days, you have bad days. And it's from those difficult times or those dark times or those challenging times that usually we get something. And that's the same when we're in the service of the Guru. So these families or members of these families did not return to their homes until Guru Sahib Ji said to them, you can go. Until the point that Guru Sahib Ji themselves say to them, they're there in the service of the Guru. In those days, in those moments, in those minutes, in those seconds when we were in the presence of the Guru, we don't know how much of our Karam Maharaj changes, how much of our life our change, gets changed, how much of our destiny gets changed, how many sins, millions of sins for millions of lifetimes are washed away in the service of the Guru. And actually there's nothing more beneficial or productive to ourself or society that we can do than serving the Creator who's here in the form of Guru Sahib with us. So Istana, these families all had Guru Sahib Ji's blessings. These families all had happiness bestowed upon them by the Guru. This is the end of today's Prasang Hondo Pangatiya Padke Smaafti Haji. Gaye Sat Guru Sang Bahodur So Hata Khushi Lah Mukho Hazur Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Jakari Ke Jave Ne Alo Jave Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Nupa Vi Sat Sri Akal Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh